What is a variable and how is it used in Python? How does the use and declaration of variables differ from other programming languages such as C, C++, and Java? Let's find out. Variables are like buckets in memory that can be used to store and manipulate data in our program for future use. Now, Python's considered a dynamically typed or a loosely typed language, meaning that we don't need to declare the variable's type beforehand. It also means that variables can easily change types from numeric to string and vice versa throughout the program's execution. In other languages such as C, C++, and Java that are strongly typed, you have to declare the data type during the initialization of the variable. Also, the type of the variable cannot change throughout the program's execution. In this strongly typed example, we see an int for integer, a float for a decimal number, and a char for character type preceding the variable name. Let's take a look now at how this is different in a loosely typed language like Python. In this Python example, we have a variable called my underscore robots, and we have assigned it the value 2. However, a little later on in the program, we might assign my robots to equal a string value, uh, such as R2D2 and C3PO. It's this act of changing the variable's data type midway through the program that isn't possible in other programming languages. Now, the benefits of dynamic typing is that it results in far fewer keystrokes, meaning that it's a faster language to program and develop in. It also provides more flexibility to the programmer. The downside of this is that it may result in unexpected consequences. For example, say we had a variable that contained a number. And then a little later on, we assigned that same variable to be a string. But then we tried to do some math on the string, like dividing it by four. And this is where the Python interpreter would flag an error when we go to run our program. So that's not possible. And it can result in a lot of heartache for you if you were to do this. Another important consideration is in the rules around naming a variable. A variable in Python can only contain letters, whether it be lowercase or uppercase, numbers, and underscores. The first character in a variable name also can't be a number. So on the left-hand side, we see some examples of valid variable names. For example, robot name, all is one word, my underscore robots, and then we have robot name using camel casing where every uh, additional word in the name uses a uppercase letter and the number two. All perfectly valid. On the right hand side though, we see a variable called two, number two, robot name, which will throw an error when executed by the Python interpreter because it starts with a number. To assign a value to a variable, we use the equal sign. It's also known as the assignment operator. Here we have a variable named x and another named y, and then we assign x to the value held in y. As a result, when we go to print the values of both variables, we will get 10 as the answer for both x and y. Of all the topics in this video, variables are probably the one concept that we are going to be using throughout, especially as we begin to work with the robot sensors and begin to operate on the values those sensors are producing about the robot's environment. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider pressing the like button and subscribing to this channel for more updates on Robot Mesh Studio and how to use it with VEX robots.